Hey guys, what's going on? This is Rob from ClicksGeek.com. In today's video, I just wanted to cover top of the page bids and how important this is, especially now going forward with mobile traffic. You, you have to be on the top if you're trying to drive mobile traffic because nobody on, is going on their phone and going to different pages in Google when they search something. All right, so as you can see here, we're in our white label campaign that we always use for examples. And I'm going to go into an ad group. We'll go into PPC reseller because that's a pretty good one for us. And you can see here we have our columns. Now this is these are the two most important columns that you are going to be looking at when selecting your um, bidding strategy. All right, it's estimated top of the page bid and estimated first position bid. All right, so I'll go through both of these, but first I want to show you how to get these columns into your ad group. All right, so you come up here to columns, modify columns, and let's just get rid of them so I can re-add them. So we'll get rid of them. We'll come into here and we'll go to attributes. Estimate top of the page, estimated top of the page bid, and estimate a first page bid. Now, this is something I wouldn't pay too much attention to this because this bid is only going to tell you what it takes to get on Google's first page, not even at the top. It could be at the bottom. And remember, we don't want to be at the bottom, especially with mobile traffic because that's pretty much useless. So, we're going to skip that one and we're going to go to estimated first position bid. All right, you can see it adds them right here. We're going to hit apply and now we have our columns. All right, so let's start with estimated top of the page bid, and it tells you right here. This column estimates the bid needed to get most of your impressions at the top of the first page of Google search results. All right, and it tells you what to bid. This is what it costs to be at the top of Google search results for these specific keywords. All right, so when I set my ad group bids, I'm usually going to take the high point of the uh, of the bids, and I'm going to set that to start at first, and, and I know that's not how people do it. This is only how I do it because we're a white label agency and we need to get people leads fast, like within the day or two of starting the campaign. And the only way to do that is to be on the top. So that's how I will set my bids at first. And I'll whittle them down over time the more data I get. But this is, um, and that's going to make sure that my bids are showing at the top of the page bid. Now, if you can go even further and you can do the estimated first position bid. So that's the first position in Google search results. And it's telling you what you have to bid to be there. So this is pretty cool. This is great information to have when you're setting your bids for your campaigns. All right. Now there's one more column too I want to talk about that um, I haven't really gone over too much, and that's called search impression share, and it's so important. So if we go into performance. I'm sorry, not performance. Where is it? Give me a minute. I forget where it is. Competitive metrics. There it is. Search impression share. Okay. Add that. Now search impression share. So it says it right here, search impression share is the impressions you received on the search network divided by the estimated number of impressions you were eligible to receive. All right, so we always want our search impression share to be close to, as possible to 100. So that means, so basically if, if our search impression share is 100%, that means every time someone searches PPC reseller agency, our ad is going to show 100% of the times. All right, now if our search impression share is lower because we're not bidding enough and it's say it's like 80%, our when someone searches PPC reseller agency, our ad's only going to show 80% of the time when people search that. All right, so that's kind of how it works, and it's an important metric to have, especially since average position has gone. So now these three are the most important ones that you should be looking at when you're running your um, campaigns. There's, there's a lot of great insights you can grab out of these. All right, so if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and if you need white-labeled PPC services, to visit us at clicksgeek.com. Also, check out the uh, <clears throat> description of this video. I'm going to put some, some cool links in there for you guys, including a, a link to our private Facebook group and one to our Google Ads training course, where I can teach in detail how to do all these things from A to Z, building campaigns that turn leads out the next day. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next video.